You heard about that settlement? Covenant? Nice. Real clean. Strict entrance requirements, though. Don't dally. If you're here to be examined, let's get you examined. Heads up. The latest hairstyle from the upper stand. Hold position. We offer a wide variety of medical treatments. Actually, I need some supplies for the road. Uh, that's sure. Glad you dropped by. You holding up, Blue? Why are you calling me that? Cause you're a vault dweller? <laughs> I know you're not wearing the blue jumpsuit right now, but the pit boy and the fish out of water look. Dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. What kind of interview is this gonna be? I ask you who you are, get your opinion on life out there, and maybe load up a few tough questions and keep it interesting. What do you say? All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait, <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Yes, I'm over 200 years old. <laughs> oh my God, the man out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? You're all living in rusty shacks, killing each other. Oh my god, the smell. Okay. Well, that's gonna be a fun one to quote. Now, the uh, big question. Why come to Diamond City? You're looking for someone, aren't you? Who is it? My son, Sean, was kidnapped. He's not even a year old. The parent after the missing child. <sighs> as heartbreaking today as it ever was. Tell me, do you suspect the Institute's involved? Sure sounds like they might be. Not even a baby is safe from them. <sighs> and people wonder why I can't just look the other way. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City Dr
correctly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? Hello? Anyone home? You're standing there with your jaw hanging out. Say something. <laughs> what? No comment? Mind speaking up? Hello? Anyone home? Speak up, I couldn't hear you. Standing there with your jaw hanging out. Say something. <laughs> what? No comment? Speaking up. Speak up, I couldn't hear you.